Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we are going to look at every single eyeshadow palette that I have in my collection. I did a video like this I think in 2020 but ever since I was trying to do a couple more but I never had the time and today I decided you know what it is time to have a look at everything it is time to see what's in my collection even for me sometimes it's a surprise I find things that I forgot I even had them but um I also am gonna try to let some go so we'll see we'll see where it takes us today but as you can see i have a um, bunch of them a good variety different price ranges and different brands so let's get a look in every single one of them shall we let's do this okay so i'm gonna start us off with huda beauty I have four eyeshadow palettes from her. I have two big ones and two small ones. The both two big ones, I received them in mystery boxes from her that I purchased, I think, last year and the year previous. And then the this one, I also received it in um, mystery box as well. But this is the only one that I purchased myself because I was very curious about this color story. I really did enjoy uh, how it looked on certain people when they were reviewing it. So I had to buy it myself. So this one, it is the Khaki Haze, which is one of my favorites from her. Next, we have the Nude Medium uh, from her, which is really pretty as well. This one, I try to like it. I play with it multiple times. It never looks, I don't know. It's like, I can't, I guess I'm missing a little bit of the intensity because these shades are very pastel-y like. And then the ones that are a little darker, they're not as good as blending. And this one, it is the Mercury Retrograde, which it is very pretty, but it doesn't necessarily work for my medium skin tone as much as this one does and this one is really beautiful and i love it i love it so much and this is the huda beauty rose gold palette remastered all right next we're going to talk about color pop so these are the eyeshadow palettes that i have from color pop i really don't have that many um not on not because i don't like their formula because their formula is actually pretty good i would have to say although it kind of differs from eyeshadow to eyeshadow this one has an amazing amazing uh quality to it oh i have another one that i forgot to put in here let me bring that one out too all right i forgot this one uh knew i was missing one but i wasn't sure which one so yeah i have this one as well but yes this one is absolutely amazing i love the tones i love the way it blends i love the quality of this eyeshadow palette it is absolutely top notch so 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 damn good um and definitely it is um, one of my favorites from them this is the star wars mandalorian palette then i also have the sailor moon one unfortunately the sailor moon one doesn't show up a lot on me like for example these colors don't they don't show up too much on me they kind of blend in with my skin tone and there's a few over here that I can use that shows up on me but it's not a whole lot unfortunately so this one is the sailor moon one um but I love this um the show and the emotions and the memories that brings to me this eyeshadow palette I'm probably gonna keep it in my in my collection for a very very long time the next one in here is this one from uh, frozen 2 which is a good one as well i really do enjoy that one for more like if i want to go in more of a vampy look during fall winter i really do enjoy that one and then i have three different small little ones over here which I like these two. This one is very, very similar to the, um, um, what is it, Xeno palette from uh, Natasha Denona, and which I think I'm going to get it in my gratis this month or next month. I remember seeing it somewhere in my gratis when I was doing my orders, and I 
think I'm going to get it this month. Whenever the gratis is going to show up. If you don't know, I work for Sephora and I do receive gratis. I work as a licensed esthetician for them. So uh, if you're interested in that, go ahead and click that subscribe button and um, get uh, that notification on. So you know when I am going to upload my uh, gratis uh, holes. Okay, so this one, yes, very, very similar to the one from Natasha Denona. Very good quality as well. I really do like it. This one, it is the ballad one. And then this one is my favorite from the small ones because it's so beautiful on the eyes. It blends so nice as well. And this is the crush one. This one is my least favorite from them. It kind of makes my eyes a little bit itchy. It's not... I mean, the colors are nice, but they're not blending as well as the other ones. And this one, it is Make It Fearless. And now one that is all mattes is this one right here. And I purchased this one because I love yellow tones. I love mustardy tones. So this one was looking so damn good. And I really do like it. It is very, very nice for more of a neutral look because it definitely pulls a little bit more neutral on my skin. But it is so pretty. And I really do enjoy it. I need to play with it a little bit more. This is called Little Ray of Sunshine. All right, next we're going to talk about what I have from Jeffree Star. I do have a lot from him, mostly because I did purchase a lot of his mystery boxes. And there's only a couple of them, I think, that I purchased them myself. So this one, it is purchased by myself. I was very new to the purples. I wasn't sure if I was going to like this. But because the purples are not that intense and you do have some neutrals in here, here and not green I decided to go ahead and purchase this and I do like it I didn't play with it as much as I would like to so I definitely need to play with this a little bit more to get to get uh, my money's worth because this one was $52 so definitely a good one this is the um what is it called? The Bloodlust one. My favorite one from his um, eyeshadow palettes is definitely this one. This is the Alien palette. And I've used it quite a lot. As you can see, I really do enjoy this eyeshadow palette. It is so, so stunning on the eyes. I love, love the formula in this one. Um, next in here, uh, the least favorite I would have to say is this one. I haven't used it that much. Mostly because, you know, those colors don't quite resonate with me. And every time I'm trying to look into this one and try to create a look, I feel like a little bit like, what the heck am I going to do with this, right? Because the colors are a little bit weird for me. So this is the mini controversy. The uh, Conspiracy palette, I really do enjoy it. I have used quite a lot from this as well, uh, as you can see. But yeah, I really like it. I'm going to keep this one as well. Um, the, this one is not necessarily one of my favorites. This is the Thirsty palette. It is nice, but the, some of the colors don't show up on my eyes. I think it's mostly because they kind of very powdery and they blend in too fast, I guess, you know? And then I have some loose shades from him over here that I put them in there. The, the one right next to it is from Hourglass, but uh, it's just one shade that I purchased a while back. And then another one that is not a favorite is the Blue blue Blood, I think it is called. And um, yeah, I'm not big into blue eyeshadow. I per got that one in a mystery box, so it wasn't a purchase for myself. And then I really do enjoy this one, actually. This one is pretty. I I like it. This is one of my newest one from him. This is the Star Ranch. And this one came in one of the uh, mystery boxes. But yeah, I like these, these two colors. They're very, very nice. And the browns are really nice as well. So I like that one. The Blue Blood... Mm, I mean, it's okay. I'm not big into 
reds either it is fine because it does have some uh color shades in here that are like more in the neutral side like these ones over here and these one and that one like there's not all like very deep crazy reds but um definitely not my favorite either so i would say these two are not my favorite i'm not gonna let them go yet I might be thinking about the Thirsty palette, though, because I'm just, I'm not sure if I want to keep that in, but I'll let you know at the end. Next, let's talk about the Natasha Denona palettes that I have in my collection. Um, I got two of them in my, in my Beautylish Lucky bag, and then two of them I purchased them myself, so... Let's start with this one. This is my least favorite. This is the mini star, I believe. And I had a very hard time creating a look with this one. As you can see, all the time her shades are kind of crumbly, uh, especially the shimmer shades. So as you can see over here, uh, it looks like I digged really pretty deep in there. And I did because they, the, they were not showing up um that great on my eyes so i was just kind of like putting more and more hopefully it's gonna show up more you know but yeah this is my least favorite i do not like this one whatsoever um i do enjoy this one though the bronze palette is so pretty i really do like it and every time i create a look with it i love it even more it's very similar to the uh, Zendo palette, as you can see a little bit. It has a some similarities are there, you know. The Zendo palette has some greens in there, some pinks. I do like it. It's not necessarily uh, something that left me with my mouth open or anything like that. I like it. It's okay. It's a good eyeshadow palette. The Triochrome one, I just received this one in this year of, uh, of these year lucky bag from Beautylish and um, I'm still confused I've been playing with it for at least five times by now and I'm still confused about the duochrome because they do not look duochrome on my eyes <laughs> they just don't every time I play with them I'm like uh, they don't look duochrome on my eyes I don't understand it but um, other than that the mats are really good I played with them and I really like the way they blend. Um, they're really good quality. I just, I'm just very, very confused about the duochrome. And I feel like it's missing uh, something that is a little bit lighter, maybe like a like a lighter uh, shimmer. You know what I mean? Like I feel like I'm missing. I'm always looking for something more like a like a pink, like a light pink, or maybe like a light gold. I feel like that's missing in this eyeshadow palette to make it like a really, really uh, good one. But I'm definitely going to keep all of them. Although I think I'm just going to think a little bit about this one because I might just let this one go. We'll see. Next, let's talk about Charlotte Tilbury. So I have uh, three of them. I used to have four. I gave one to my mom. It was the Pillow Talk one because it was a quad. Um, because it was not showing up as much on me as it showed up on her. She has more of a lighter skin tone than I do. So I really liked it for her and I gave it to her. So this one is the newest one that I have from her. I received this one in my gratis. My first gratis actually. And it's a really good quality. It's very expensive. $52. It's a, it's a lot. It's a lot. But if you want something that is very effortless, then I would definitely recommend this one. This is the uh, Charlotte Tilbury, the Super Nudes one. And then the last two that I have, it is this one, which it is really pretty. I received this one in my December gratis. And it is so, so nice. I cannot uh, wait to play more with this one. This is the Flawless Eye Filter. And my favorite, it is this one right here. This is, um, it looks basic, but it looks so amazing on the eyes. And this is the Queen of Glow. Next, let's talk about Pat McGrath. I do have four from her. Uh, definitely, and I do like 
all of them they're very beautiful i really hope she's coming up with more minis like these because i really do enjoy these ones i would have to say this is my uh if i would have to choose between the two i like this one a little bit more because i like color a little bit more but if you are more into neutrals this would have been a perfect one i don't think these are available anymore but i'm really hoping she's coming more with some more of these um my first big eyeshadow palette from her and the only one so far in my collection it is this one which is the divine rose 2 which is absolutely beautiful i wore it on my wedding day um which was like my romanian wedding day because i got married here in u.s seven years ago but i finally had my celebration in romania last year and i used this one and i absolutely loved how my makeup looked like and it's beautiful this is a, an amazing eyeshadow palette i really do like it i know it's crazy expensive and i purchased mine when it was on sale purchase it for 80 something dollars and then i had to get the big one from that was um released during this christmas or was in november somewhere uh, around there and um i really do like it i played with it a lot i enjoy every single shade in here they're amazing totally an amazing uh eyeshadow palette and i think this is called the mega celestial odyssey all right two phase i only have two eyeshadow palettes from them and both of them are really good quality unfortunately i don't play with them as much and i totally should play with this one definitely more because it is really soft uh and buttery uh shadows in these ones and especially this one and that's my favorite kind of um quality and eyeshadow palette so i definitely need to play with that one a little bit more this one from the chocolate bar it is so good as well i really love this color and then this color and then this color is so pretty as well so i really like this and i like how they smell they still have the chocolate smell both of them which oh so good and i'm definitely gonna keep them in so that one is the the chocolate bar and this one is the natural matte all right here are the two tart uh kind of palettes that i have from them this one very pretty unfortunately i never ever ever um drawn to this one to play with so i'm definitely gonna let this one go this one over here it's nice but i feel like i don't need it i don't need it in my collection i feel like i have so much already of these colors over and over again so i'm not sure if i want to keep this one at all or maybe just keep one of these small ones i'm not sure i really not sure i think i'm i'm definitely gonna let this one go i'm gonna let this one go and actually i'm gonna let this one go too I'm not going to have another tart. Oh, I do have another tart. Yes, let me show you that one too. So I have this one, which is the Tartaste Pro, which I absolutely hate. <laughs> but I'm going to... Uh, should I keep this one for the memories or not? Should I let this one go and keep one of these? Whoo, this is hard. This is a really hard one. I think I'm going to keep this one because it is one of the worst eyeshadow palettes I have in my collection. And I want to keep it just because of that. But also because I purchased it with my first money that I got in US. So I kind of want to keep it for that. Mm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I'm definitely going to let this one go. That one is going to go. Let's talk about Morphe. Um, I have three eyeshadow palettes from them. The big one, which came in a mystery box that I purchased from them. Um, I like. <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to let this one go. I really do like it. Uh, so I'm definitely going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. I know it's bulky. I don't usually go for it. But I'm going to keep it. This is the 350 uh 
and I have something on it. I don't know exactly what it is. Gonna have to clean that up. And then I have the collaboration between Morphe and the um, Coca-Cola. I think this was the first collaboration. It's okay. It's not necessarily the greatest, but it's not necessarily the worst. But it is an okay one. So I'm gonna keep this one too. This one is in collaboration with Manny MUA. Mm, it's nice. Nothing special about it though. So I'm gonna let this one go. I have ordered some, uh, I've ordered a mystery box from Luna Beauty. So I'm waiting for that one to show up. So I'm definitely gonna get some uh, eyeshadow palettes from his own brand. So I'm not gonna feel not gonna feel bad about letting this one go this one i think i received it in a boxy charm so yeah i'm gonna let this one go i forgot i had this one from tarte as well and uh, i'm gonna keep this one this one is not too bad it's okay it's not the most amazing quality but it's okay so i'm gonna keep this one mostly because look at the packaging it's really nice and this is the fall field so i'm gonna keep that one next hank and henry i received this one in boxy charm a while back which is pretty it's nice the quality is not necessarily the most amazing quality but it's a, a good workable quality the thing that kind of makes me keep all of these three it's the uniqueness of the shades because i don't have these shades in my collection as much and i definitely need to play with them a little bit more um you need to build them a little bit more definitely it's not gonna show as amazing it's not very very like crazy deep pigmented but they are very good quality and very unique shades so i'm gonna keep all three of them this one it is called the poison palette this one is called the teddy palette and this one is called a living in color next we have pure cosmetics i may have been the only person on youtube that didn't like this collaboration which is with raw beauty christy um and it has two and so it has that one which is the neutral one and then it has the colorful one which looks like this um i didn't like the formula i don't think i didn't like how they were blending i didn't like uh necessarily the color story either i was a little bit confused why there's only a one shimmer on each side and they're very kind of similar colors i was a bit confused about this one and i really did not like the um formula but i'm definitely gonna keep it I'm going to try to put some of these that I have not played with or if I played and I don't like them, which I just threw them in the drawers and never play with them. I should play with them a little bit more just to kind of get an image and know what I want to do next. And this is the this is one that I received in BoxyCharm. And this, I like the shimmers. The shimmers are really nice. I was just watching them to see how they are, which are really nice. Um, I don't remember how I was feeling about this one. This is the Pure Festival 2.0. So I think I'm going to keep both of them and then decide later after I try them, decide what I want to do with them. Literally Los Angeles. Hmm. So I have some loose shades from her right over here, which I like. These are very nice, very buttery, very pigmented. I really do enjoy these ones. This one is not my favorite. This is the Nudie Patootie one. And it doesn't look like... I just... I it, they don't show up much on my eyes. That's That's the biggest problem that I have with this eyeshadow palette is... It's just they don't they don't show up on my eyes that much because they're very similar to my skin tone or they're like way lighter than that. So it's kind of hard for me to play with this one. And it is a very, very neutral eyeshadow palette. Nothing special about the shimmers either. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this one. Um, I only played two, two or three times with it. So I'm going to keep it to see how if i can find a way to play 
put it better and show up on my eyes better. And the last one I have from her is the Party Animal, which I do like. So I'm going to keep this one for sure. This is a really nice one, and I like the colors. I know this is the one that she was the wildest one that she did. Um, and... Uh, Everybody was very surprised and not necessarily liking it, but I love it. I love this uh, color story and I love the craziness about it. So, and I like how it blends. So I'm keeping this one. Makeup Revolution or Revolution Pro or whatever other name they have because they have so many. Uh, I have two that were from the Friends Collection and this is the Monica one, which I wasn't a fan of Friends uh, show. I was just in Ulta when they were released. And I was like, mm, you know what? I'm going to get a couple of them and see how they are. The quality is not that amazing. They're they're like mediocre. Um, but I'm, I just something doesn't let me let them go for some reason. So I'm going to keep this one. And also, I'm going to keep this one. It doesn't show that much on my eyes. I don't know why I'm keeping it. This one is Rachel. And now, the other two are this one's right here, which is a pink eyeshadow palette, uh, which is from Revolution Pro, I guess. And this one, it is called the um, Ultimate Eye Look Palette, Quartz Crush. I like the packaging on this one. I really like how they look on the eyes, too, but they're... I'm not usually drawn to it that much. And also I have the green one, which is called So Jaded One. So I'm going to keep this one as for the packaging. The quality of this one, it is insane. And I love the color story. It is a really weird one. It's a bunny um, shaped eyeshadow palette. I think this was released around Easter time. And I really do like how this one looks on my eyes every time I try it. So I'm going to keep this one to play with. Nomad Cosmetics. I really like their color stories. Their color stories in the eyeshadow palettes are absolutely amazing. And they're, they're all about, you know, traveling and places and stuff. So I really, really like their theme. Uh, the only problem that I have with their eyeshadow palettes are just like, they're not, um, they're not intense enough, you know? When you blend one of these, like, darker, deeper colors, when you blend it, it doesn't give you the same, uh, shade as it is in the pan. So, for me, that one kind of mm, makes me a little bit, like, inside not feel a, a really great about it. The shimmers, though, are absolutely amazing, and um, they're definitely a really nice brand. It's just not intense enough for my liking, and I do have two of them. I'm going to keep both of them. I have this one, which it is uh, the America's Parks, uh, and then I have this one, which is the um, uh, Haunted Europe. So I'm going to keep uh, both of them, but keep in mind if you want to play with them or if you buy something from them, the darker shades are not having as much as intensity as I would prefer. Okay, XO Beauty. I have two eyeshadow palettes from her. She has three, I believe, at this point. I wasn't able to get the last one. The last one is more of a neutral one. Um, but these two I really do enjoy. I love, love the quality. I love the shimmers. They're just amazing. And I'm definitely going to keep both of them. So this one is called Heaps of Sweets. And then this one, it is called Native. Nabo. I have to say, I am so surprised about this one. Uh, both of these eyeshadow palettes, I haven't purchased them myself. I did receive them in mystery boxes, and they were both from Trendwood uh, boxes. And the Secret palette, it's not my favorite. I'm very surprised to see the difference between the Secret palette and Side by Side palette. 
so different quality i love this one this one looks so amazing so rich so buttery so pretty on your eyes this one not as much so i am confused but i'm definitely gonna keep the secret one just to kind of try it a little bit more but this one is absolutely amazing i love 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 this side by side eyeshadow palette abh i have two very different eyeshadow palettes from them i have the one in collaboration with Alyssa edwards and it is a beautiful color story the mattes are a little bit i don't know they they feel a little bit hard um i think i kind of have to like take the top scrape the top part off and just kind of make sure um i play with a little bit longer because i really like this color story and i really like the formula in the soul tree palette so maybe this was pressed a little bit too hard i don't know but definitely i'm gonna keep both of them um the soul tree it is really nice as well which is very weird because i usually not a cool tone person i don't like to play with cool tone shades but every time i play with this one i love how my makeup looks like and the bloom my uh, eyeshadow palette the bloom shade it's absolutely beautiful every time i use it as well so these are the two from abh here are some random ones that i think i might just let them go so I'm going to start with Sugary Cosmetics. This one, it doesn't, it just doesn't perform as great as it used to. I think it got a little bit old. And I'm definitely going to let this one go. I am sad, but I did play with it quite a while. So um, not that sad. It, it was fine and worked nice. But it is time to let that one go. This one, I haven't played with it that much, but... I don't like the color story and I don't like how it blends so there's no point of keeping this one in I'm never gonna I'm never gonna reach for it uh, so there's no point of keeping it this is the provocative eyes from uh, private society the elf one I did not like it so I'm gonna let this one go this is the rose gold sunset this one it is uh, I got it from a subscription box that was from a Japanese one no make no life I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go into it and it's been quite a while since I had it so I'm gonna let this one go as well another one that I'm gonna let go is this one because it doesn't perform as great great as it used to so this is the i love sarahi uh x dose of color another one that i'm gonna let go is gonna be the ace beauty one absolutely beautiful gorgeous but i had it in my collection for about four five years now so um i'm not gonna keep this one anymore this is the ace beauty one um and i'm also gonna let this one go from fenty I'm never playing with this one. I have these colors in my collection for over and over and over again. And I have them in like a better formula. So I'm going to let the this one go as well. Another one that I was kind of thinking to let go is this one. But every time I look at it, it's just so pretty. And I don't think I can let it go just yet. Although I'm never playing with it that much. It's the Alamar Cosmetics one. Mm, Reina de Caribe Shadow Palette Volume 1. I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to continue to keep this one. Right, so I have KKWX Mario Eyeshadow Palette. I had this one for a while now. And I'm going to keep it. I really do like how this formula is. And I do enjoy the shades. I'm going to keep this one for sure. And then a quad from Makeup by Mario is this one right here. This is in Rosy Glam. Very nice one. I love the formula and the, his quads. It is top notch. And he has new ones now, like nudes ones, which I really want to get one too. But they sold out pretty fast at my store. Um, mostly because I was showing to a lot of customers. I was like, look at this one. This is literally one of them was like, like it was looking so wet and so beautiful. There were three different nudes ones, which was for lighter, medium, and deeper 
skin tone so i really like the the formula he has in the quad so i'm definitely gonna keep this ones as well all right drugstore eyeshadow palettes let's start with pixie by petra and uh, this one it is in hello la angel i really do like this one i played with it quite a while i have to say and i do really enjoy it i'm gonna keep this one the milani one as you can see it was well used over here and i do really enjoy it so i'm gonna keep this one as well the maybelline one very very good one this is the what is this one called nudes of new york very very nice one i'm gonna keep this one as well the elf one now my favorite i have this color story from ColourPop and some others i'm gonna let this one go the la colors not my favorite either so i'm gonna let this one go as well so the la color one was an instant look and this one it is in pumpkin pie oh and the last one it is from winky lux and i think I'm gonna let this one go too this is a nice one but i played with it enough this is the winky lux the mermaid kitten palette and i'm definitely not gonna reach into it anymore so i'm gonna let this one go as well all right so this one it is from uh, which one is this one oh from zoeva caramel melange i really like this one i played with it a lot um I think I'm going to let this one go. I think it's time to let it go. I really do like the formula and everything. But I do have these shades over and over again. And in newer eyeshadow palettes that I tend to go more often. So I'm going to let this one go. The Violet Voss one, I think I'm going to keep it in. I really like this uh, color story. It's so, so, so pretty. And this one is called Ye Essentials. So I'm going to keep this one for sure. This is how this one looks like, so I'm going to let this one go. And then I have this one that I found at TJ Maxx, and this is the Cara Beauty one, which I only played a couple of times with, so I'm definitely going to keep it a little bit longer in my collection. And this one is called, I think, Starry Eyes, so yeah. Okay, so let's talk about these other ones. This one I found it a long time ago at TJ Maxx and I played with it a lot. It was very cheap, only $3, but I loved it. I loved it so much. And I think it's time to let this one go. This one is from Glamlight. This is the pizza veggie lover i loved it the, i love the greens i wanted to play more with these greens um i played with it quite a while i'm not sure if i want to keep this continue to keep this in my shadow palette collection or not i'm gonna think about this one but this one is definitely going another one is from iconic london which now that i think about it, it looks very similar to the side by side just a little bit lighter but i really do like this one so i'm gonna keep it this one it is okay so this is how this one looks like the iconic london and the color is date to slay and this one this one i haven't played with that much i think i only play with maybe once or twice i like that green so i'm gonna keep this one this is brow barrel by rima so we'll keep this one as well Juvis place i have two eyeshadow palettes the mini one over here i absolutely love this shades work so beautiful on the eyes i love it i'm gonna keep it this is the nubian and this other one it is very beautiful very very beautiful but a nice to blend all that stuff unfortunately kind of gives me a little bit of like re-irritation for my eyes I'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to use it but i'm gonna continue to keep it and maybe i'm gonna try it a couple more times and this one is called the sweet pinks by juvia's makeup geek oh this is old i had this so oh for so long i think this was the first thing that i reviewed on my channel this is the promise eyeshadow palette mm. yeah we'll let this one go this one is newer i purchased a mystery box from her i think this year or last year i don't remember last year yeah last year not this year this is 2022 oh man 
I am, I don't know what year it is anymore. Anyway, but this one, I'm going to keep it. I really like the shimmer. I really like the mattes. All of their firmware are amazing, top notch, and really good quality. So I completely recommend Makeup Geek uh, Shadows. But this one is too old, so I'm going to let this one go. And these two, I decided to put them together because if you know, you know. This is the Sydney Grace and Mel Thompson um, eyeshadow palette collaboration. Uh, when Mel passed away, I, it really affected me, surprisingly affected me a whole lot. Mostly because she was very, very close to my age. Very, very close. So I just... I. I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. But this eyeshadow palette, it's absolutely gorgeous. I loved it from the moment I got it. I absolutely enjoyed it every single time I played with it. So I'm definitely going to keep this one. The other eyeshadow palette over here is from Wayne Goss. And this is in uh, uh, Imperial Topaz. This is absolutely beautiful as well. I received it recently in one of the mystery boxes from... Um, Beautylish, and um, I really do enjoy it, so I'm gonna keep this one too. I'm gonna keep them together next to each other. Oh, so, a few more over here. This is Mark Jacobs' one. I'm gonna keep this one. I do like how this one looks. I'm not sure what is happening with Mark Jacobs' products. If they're ever gonna be back, I don't know. They're just kind of selling them at 50% off. And this is the 860 Extravagance Iconic uh, Eyeshadow Palette which I like and I'm going to keep. This one is from Tom Ford. So I didn't purchase this at a full price. This is the Tom Ford one, which I honestly don't enjoy it that much, but I'm going to keep it because it's the only Tom Ford quad that I have in my collection. And this one, it is called the 24, 21st Last Dance. This one I absolutely love. This is the Dolce Diva from Kiko Milano. I'm going to keep this one. This one, I'm not sure what I want to do. This is the Urban Decay. I played with this one a while back. I like it. I I don't mean, I'm not saying I don't like it. I just don't usually gravitate towards. And this is a single one that I got from them. And this one is in Freebird. I'm going to keep that one for sure. I think I'm going to keep this one too. This is the On The Run palette, the G Train. So I'll keep those two. All right, a few more over here. This one, it is not a good one. Um, I try to love it. I try to play with it and make it love it and try and try and try because this is the Kevin Aquan and I was the only eyeshadow palette that I had from them and Tati was talking so highly about it. So I was trying to love it so much, but I don't like it. So I'm going to let this one go. Um... These other ones, I forgot to put the Nabla one in there, but the Nabla one is the uh, sparkly one, which was, it's okay. It's not my favorite, but it's good to have every so often. This is the Miami Lights Glitter Palette. Um, the Petite uh, one from Viseart is new, and I really do like it. Uh, at first, I wasn't that well by it, but once I played a little bit more with it, I really do enjoy it. And this is the Garnet. And then this one is a new one. I haven't played with it at all. Um, this is, it was gifted to me by my godmother. So I'm going to keep it and play with it. This is in seven, from 17 Bold Plums. And the last two eyeshadow palettes that I have in my collection to show are two brands one that doesn't exist anymore so that one it is tati tati beauty and i'm glad i got this one it's not necessarily my favorite eyeshadow palette i don't like those glitters that much i don't like a bunch of these things over here um the only ones that i like are the mattes and the metallics so mm, I'm going to keep it definitely now, especially when it's not a thing anymore. So this is Tati Beauty Volume 1, and I think it's called Textured Something. 
but yeah i'm gonna keep that one and then of course i'm gonna keep this one this is from dominic cosmetics i really like this one mostly for my face but every so often i do uh reach into it to play for my eyes as well so this one it is the transition palette all right so here are the ones that i am letting go I wasn't expecting to let so many go today, but I guess I was in a mood. So 18 of them are going and many more I have left. I'm going to leave it on the screen how many more I have left. But this is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for uh, watching this very long video. And let me know down below which eyeshadow palette is your favorite and which one you had in your... um in your collection the longest let me know thank you so much for watching have a nice one bye